guys are Twitch. This is the way we are. Hold on, let me get back into my headset. Pull up my headphones. I'm using my new Splatoon ear cans today. I was trying to think it was a mistake because boy did my ears hurt and oh god it's upside down. My entire life is falling apart around me. If I make any strangling noises, please do not be alarmed. It is just my hair, my headphones, and the vibe trying to kill me. But again, do not be alarmed. I get up to spit my gum out, and boy, do I regret that. <laughs> okay. Headset on. Stabilizing. So tonight we have a special treat. Uh, our friend Lavender is going to be showing us how to use the DJ dick deck. Oh god, this is going out to a great start. Lavender is going to show us how to use the DJ decks in the way VR tonight. Um, hopefully he's going to throw a little party for us too. Maybe play because he's so good with all the songs that are available to us. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the home caves in the way VR, um, there is a limited number of music tracks we can use. You can't bring in any of your own stuff yet um but i mean lavender has done a great job in the few shows i've seen him in here so i'm just going to take a quick look at you at this for you guys because we've got a couple minutes before it starts um so here are the tracks ta-da very nice i'm giving you guys this look uh because lavender is going to be recording from his end and I'm not going to be able to, like, be up here with him that I know of. Why does my world keep flashing? It's kind of scary. Anyway, uh, here are all of the decks. They've got their BPMs and stuff. That's cool. Here's this thing. It screws up the whole world and it scares me. Because <laughs> it happens on random occasion. Um, we've got some thingies. Some buttons. Yeah! Spaceship! <laughs> I like that one because it reminds me of that one EDM song everybody knows, but I can't for the life of me remember. It's not my genre, but I appreciate the sound. And then this one that also screws with everybody's world. Oh god, I'm dizzy. Then we have the duck. We got a tempo bar. We got the AB slider. I'm making up all these words, I hope you know. This is where you put the things. This is where you hit play or stop. And, you know, some other buttons and doodads. And I have no idea what these are, but I want to know. I've seen them move before. <laughs> I guess we'll find out tonight. Over here we have our new and improved arena visualizer contraption. <laughs> All these words I'm making up. It's, this is fun. Um, mine seems horribly broken. Um, because I see some things overlapping in places that shouldn't, like, oh, maybe it's on purpose. I am scared <laughs> that there's these. What is it even doing? Nothing. So I'm going to run like the little coward I am. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, I have not found the hidden fidget spinner yet. And I did look. I checked out all the crystals, and it didn't work. So, yeah, we got three minutes. It looks like Lavender's online, and in his cave, her cave. So we're gonna go to the expanse first and say hi. And there's nobody here. Spooky. Real spooky. I figured at least a whole lot of people would be here wondering when the concert started. Um, because there is not a concert in the way VR tonight. Not an official one. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Well, that guy's lost. Did I just... Get another, I'm confused. Oh, well. 
losing people to Enfold. Oh well. I guess we'll go in. of reality. Who's videotaping this? Me! Thank you, Amelia. Oh, I anytime. A tiny bit of hitching, but it'll leave this kind of bother that much. And audio. See, your, your sliders look normal. My sliders look totally busted back in my home cave a second ago. Weird. I ain't touching them. Are we allowed to look from here? <laughs> yeah, what did I actually recommend people do? Um, <laughs> from down there works. But, oh. If I don't smash into my cabinets, what you can do is back up in your clay space and then teleport here. And you can look, oh, look through, through there. there. Or okay. you can go over here as well. <clears throat> you get a pretty good view from here. Just okay. anywhere around me. <clears throat> anywhere around me, you can see all the controls. Okay. <laughs> this probably looks oh, really God, weird, but I'm taking screenshots. <laughs> okay. No, you're 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 good. You're good. Hope this is not too intrusive. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm not touching you. I'm not no. touching you. <laughs> <laughs> What does this button do? Ah, <clears throat> nothing. <laughs> Foiled. I tell you, I, I can tell you what this button here does. Yeah. <laughs> there That's you go. like your favorite, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. All right, stay here. I'm just gonna go see if anyone's lurking down there. Doesn't know what to do. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, Shinden, you're back. Oh, you want some drugs? I, I bet I'm. No, I bet I missed oh, the show. Oh, Shin, I? hello. Hey, I'm uh, sitting down. I gotta keep it down today. I just found out I, that last time I get, apparent my friend chewed me out, and my neighbors were really mad at me for making a fuss. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I was being really, really loud. Uh. I mean, did you oh. tell them you were having a virtually spiritual experience? You know, it's... Uh, it was freaking the fuck out. Is what he was killing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I tried to explain, it, see, I was trying to explain that to them, and they didn't quite understand that, so it didn't mow over oh. too well. They just, they were like, they were, they're people that are dead. They have a TV from the '60s and a kitchen from the '40s. Um, yeah. So, so they, no, you got a noise didn't. complaint? Is that what yeah. you're saying? They said the oh. next time I, yeah. But it doesn't like matter that. because yeah. as, a, as of Saturday, I'm moving into a giant new house in the middle of nowhere. Good. You can freak yeah. out as Party. much as you want. Oh, I gotta <laughs> know. Did I miss the show tonight? No. no, no, no. So t there's no wave show tonight. Okay. Um, the 16th. Reason, reason they, yeah, um, pushed it back. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was going to be next oh, Wednesday, God. and as soon as I finish telling people 10 times it's going to be next Wednesday, they push it back to the 16th. Why are they not having, like, a regular weekly show anymore, then? I don't what know. Happens? I think it's because they're just because, working so hard because, on all the different venues. Uh, that, and they are building a new venue for each performer at the moment. I'd oh, rather so like, be oh. in the same venue and have weekly dance parties than wait. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, true. I second that. <sighs> well, we have okay. it on record. Well, Right, well, oh, the, uh, just record that. <laughs> Are you recording everything right now? <laughs> Maybe it's on Twitch. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Surprise! Oh boy. All it's right. okay. I'm I got Shin's whole experience last weekend and mentioned it on oh, Twitter. Really? So, did yeah, you, no I got the whole way. thing. Did you upload that? <laughs> Dude, I live oh stream every time. I don't know your real oh name. It's cool. Oh, it's <laughs> my name. <laughs> it's my name, though. I, I, it's it? not a reputation. No, <laughs> really? my real name is not Shin. Oh, I'm Shin online then? gaming now. Oh, you know, it's your handle? Hmm. Yeah, my Shin is my handle. Uh, I could well, be, now I you've could admitted it to, to the world. <laughs> uh, well, I, nice I job. <laughs> You're just digging the hole deeper. Yeah, I'll send you a link later. I, I gotta, please do. All right, I got to get out of here before I say anything more embarrassing. So bye. Don't bye, go. Oh, it's it's okay. Okay. No, we're going to dance no. later. No, Just don't, don't accept want... any more trips from anybody, that's all. <laughs> yeah, and don't keep your hands clenched. Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, stardosts are not acting friendly at all. I hate what it is when going on? Like, it's this just happened. I'm like, I keep graying out over nothing. I'm grayed out right now. Oh, yeah. That was happening to me yesterday. I'm gonna recalibrate real quick. See what's going on. Oh, hello. Okay. What is this? <coughs> I'm getting what? Steam Air One One Five. Hold on. I'm gonna reset real quick. Right All right. Back. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> I would have been like, bye. <laughs> well, I'm I'm still waiting for a few people who uh showed up and said they were coming so you know you know how you realize that if you had a record playing then you left your cave and came back again things were glitching yeah do you think that just you leaving the cave and coming back again while we're still in here could also result in some glitching even though you aren't um, playing a record probably not because the decks are empty at the moment but i wouldn't want to chance it mm. i'm oh, in here yeah I'm in here, it's working, I'm recording. I don't want to mess around with it. The the, the threat of the threat of it destroying itself is too it's too much for me right now. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Uh the uh chain scenes button has disappeared, so we're off to a good start. Oh <laughs> yeah, it is gone, isn't it? Oh my goodness, actually what happened to the the visuals deck thing? Like, isn't it, shouldn't it be over there? Oh my gosh! Or... When did that disappear? <laughs> I was just over there. I was just here. I have it on camera. Damn it! <laughs> I gave up. I want to spot back. Where was I standing? Okay. <laughs> so we're we're. We're we're stuck with these amazing visuals. <laughs> no, I don't mind them. I think I'm gonna call cool. Pearl. <laughs> don't mind me the, staring uh, at the ground. I'm looking at my phone. Eric, do you have his Eric, number? You... Oh no, you, I meant you... just on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that special. <laughs> do you see the visuals deck behind you, or is no. that just completely gone for you as well? No, it's, it's super gone. gone. It's gone. Yo. Hey. Uh, hey girl, we need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> it's the visual, magical, but... the magical no, world of VR. Gone. The magic, <laughs> not. I'd say this is, this is this is the magical world of beta software. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the so, chimes uh, seem extra loud to me right now, the friend chimes. They, uh, they last for quite a while now as well, too. Okay, so what <laughs> I'm going to do is I'm going to play a loud bit of music, and I want you all to adjust your uh, music volume in your menus okay. so that you can hear me as well as the music quite clearly. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Yep. 
So, um, first of all, how many people here are musicians in any way that understand things like beats, uh, beats in a bar, bar structure, BPM, and how many people think I'm speaking another language right now? I know BPM. I have heard of these words. <laughs> You've heard of these words. Okay. Is mayonnaise a BPM? <laughs> no. No, mayonnaise is not a BPM. It'd be an interesting one, but no. Okay, so quick, very brief overview. Use the same track as well because it, it starts off strong. Um, yep. uh, music they're going to be DJing is going to be in 4 4. Um, I have not mm. yet encountered the DJ who DJs in a different time signature. Oh. The 4 4 means there's four beats in a bar. What's a bar, you say? Basically, you count to four over and over. You've probably done this with music before, where you've gone oh, one, yeah. two, three, mm -hmm. four, one, two, three, four. That's exactly the same in DJing. That's an important thing you need to start doing, not not literally, but in your head, counting as the music is playing. Mm -hmm. And you want to be counting the bars as well. A bar is a set of four. So if I start playing, I'll just play the first four bars. So that's 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 four bars. Um, a lot of the music here, um, you're going to be counting in four bars, eight bars, sixteen bars. So you want to get used to being like, okay, that's how many four bars feels like. That's eight bars. That's sixteen bars. That's relevant for when you want to transition because that's the natural flow of electronic music. You oh, should back. be split up between sixteen bar parts. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> and it's Friends changed arrival. on its own. Or did you touch it? Hmm. What changed? Do you Scene. got your visuals back? Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that is very strange. Okay. Mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. No. Uh, this is slightly less distracting. That's good. Okay. So yeah. Um, you want to be learning how to count bars in music. Um. Which is, you know, it, it's kind of the fundamental part of uh, the structure. Because um, mm -hmm. if, if, if I'll let this play until what's called the build up. So it's the intro and the build up, and then the chorus or the drop when, you know, when the bass hits. Um, I believe it's uh, 16, 16, and I can't remember the drops so as 16 or 32. But if I let this play through, count through how many bars there are and let me know. How many bars there are? Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you notice the changes. Oh yeah. Ah. So this is another this is another eight yeah. bars here. I just learned something. <laughs> Three. Five, five. Six. And change. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. So if you learn to do that, then you know the natural points you can bring in tracks. So if I bring this over here... Ah. You can count this building up here. Mm -hmm. I'll do this real quick. I'll, I'll go over the whole deck in a moment, but... Mm -hmm. You can hear it's changing. There's another 8-bar section. Stop glitching. Notice how these kind of naturally flow in these yeah. eight-bar segments. So that's that's the fundamentals of how you're going to find different transitions. Now you may have noticed I've been twiddling these knobs while playing. Um, these two here are going to be the most important things. I'll go through 
everything that's on the decks now, the whole technical side, because I think this is the most daunting portion um, of DJing, not just in the wave, but just in general, knowing what everything is. So at the bottom, just the bottom top, you have the tempo slider at the bottom, which is tempo 128. That's 120 beats per minute. That's how fast the song is. In the wave VR, everything has a BPM, what the native BPM is, and mm -hmm. everything is, temp is tempo locked as well. So even if I move this up to 140 and start playing this track here, let me reset this. It's fast now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's being automatically uh, synced. So you don't need to worry about um, whatever this is set to. It's always going to be in time with what you're doing. Um, it's always going to sound the best if it's set to the native tempo. Um, just, just the way time stretching works in, inside the way VR. Uh, then you've got the crossfader. Uh, you should already know what this does, but in case you don't, it crossfades, crossfades between uh, the two tracks. Yeah. You'll see some DJs doing this instead, turning mm -hmm. one down, turning the other one up, turning this one down. Mm -hmm. It is, in principle, the exact same thing. It is mostly down to just preference on what you do. Um, and some people like to combine the two as well. <clears throat> it's just a way of bringing one track in and fading the other one out. Then you've got the play buttons, which are also the stop buttons. The important thing to know about the play buttons is they will always start on the next bar, which is also why you need to learn how to count. If I hit play on this, and then start this, now let me turn it up so I can hear it. Notice how it's always starting in time on the first beat. Every time yeah. you count a one, every time you count a one when a track is playing, when whenever you've got a play on, it's going to launch that track. Um, so the best thing to do is hit that when you count three or four when you're ready to start the next track. When you're you're going bar eight, one, two, three, four, and it'll, right. it'll launch by itself. It's synchronized. Um, so moving up from there, you've got the filter knobs, which these are effects, uh, turn it both ways. This way makes it sound like it's rising up, and this way sounds like it's going underwater. And I'll bring something to attention uh, with this knob while I'm here. If you ever want to reset a knob exactly to the zero position, the original position, you want to turn it, you can see the little blue pips or purple pips, like little bars around it. If you turn it so it's less than one, like halfway through one of them, and then just quickly click it, it'll turn to zero both ways. So if I just turn this up a tiny little so you can see a little slither of it at the top, and I just, I just hit it, it resets. Same goes for these ones as well. It's just a little trick. Um, that's probably going to change in the future. They're probably going to make that a bit easier to do, but that's the way you do it at the moment. <clears throat> now, these three here, low, mid, high, control the tonal balance of the music. Uh, the low end gets rid of the bass. Mid range makes it sound kind of hollow. And the high is pretty much the same as doing this, just slight, with a slight bit more finesse. Um, I personally never touch the mid control uh, in the wave. It doesn't really do what I expect it to, but it's there if you want to play with it. It's good for effects, um, but I wouldn't use it for certain tracks that have um, less mid than others. I find it doesn't really do what I want it to, but it sounds interesting. The most important one is the lows, and I'll come to that in a moment, because I'm almost done. Uh, the last one is the gain. My recommendation is don't touch this, <laughs> um, <laughs> because this is, the, this is the quickest way to blow out your entire audience's speak, um, speakers, headphones, hearing, whatever, because sometimes these knobs love to just do that at random. Um, Either you lose tracking with your controllers, or you hit lag, 
usually it's lag and what happens is you're trying to turn it up a little bit but the server is going oh you're still turning it okay i'm going to just turn it all the way and if you're doing that with the game control you're, you're in for a fun time uh the one thing the game control is useful for which you can also do with these uh whenever you're just doing a party with people and you want to talk you can turn it down almost all the way and play your music it's a good way of setting it to a low volume for people uh but that's pretty much it and the decks as well um you drop records onto it to load them. The, the tutorial teaches you to do that. And the thing spinning around it is the, the waveform. So you can watch the track as it plays. It's a little line that tells you where in the track you are. But unless you're used to, unless you're used to looking at audio, it probably doesn't make much sense and just looks pretty. And I find it's better to work instinctively to work kind of um, to what you're hearing rather than uh, what you're looking at. Um, and the rotary display is, you know, if you're used to it, good, but you no, know, it's there if you need it. Uh, and then there's the effects, which you've all probably played with. Um, the important thing to remember about the effects uh, is you would think that the effects work on the axis you're looking at. You think echo, because I'm looking at mm -hmm. echo this way. You think mm -hmm. you go that way to make it more echoey, but no, it's along the word. Um, mm -hmm. uh, actually, I think it's, it's along the word backwards. Aside from the, the no, it's high pass is different. The echo is basically along this way. So my voice for you guys is probably going very strange. Noise is upwards, and high pass is forward. And now I am sound very thin. Uh, and it's the same over this side, bit crush along that way, little pass up, down, and what's the other one? Flanger is deeper into the uh, thing. And then you've got the buttons up here and the buttons up there, which are fun. <laughs> so that's all the controls at your disposal. Um, don't worry if you feel overwhelmed because in general, you're only gonna, your only worries are going to be Loading the records, playing them, crossfading, and using the low knobs. What are the low knobs for? If I start playing these two tracks at the same time, roughly, my play buttons are getting massive. This is great. <laughs> So here there's a lot going on, it's very busy, there's a lot of bass going on, especially when the bass in this track kicks in in a moment. And here it's quite crazy. However, if we turn the low here, it kind of cleans it up. You can only hear the low end of this track now. But you've got the melody of this track here playing at the same time as well. And why this is important is it allows your transitions to be more musical. So when you're transitioning between two songs, uh, the one you're transitioning into, usually you're going to want to turn the low down. So you're using the bass from track, track one or track two in this instance, going into track one over here, and then you will swap them around. So they introduce the bass of this one and take out the base of this one, what's called the fundamental, the fundamental key, and what you're hearing, uh, which can make for very musical transitions. Uh, not doing this, as I say, will result in a lot of kind of muddying and craziness in the lows. So it just it helps to clean up. And you can also do the same with the filter or the high here. If, say, this one's a bit too bright, if you listen, it's quite bright. I do this. It kind of dulls it down. So it's kind of sitting underneath now. So that's that's where you would kind of use the high end for a lot brighter sections if you want to join them together musically. So I guess the main thing is, which ones do I pick? There's so many. I'm overwhelmed. Best thing to do when you start off is just pick two that have the same BPM. Start with the set of one, two, eight tracks, because a lot of those just just work naturally. For instance, 
let's pick this track here called Work. And let's stick with Save Yourself. Um, and you may want to turn up your uh, music a little bit so you can hear this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the low end on Work. I usually work from deck two to deck one. It's just because my right hand and my left hand. Um, and I'm going to transition two together. And remember to count in bars and sections of four bars, eight bars, 16 bars. There's a nice basic transition from one track to the other, Hello. using basically what I've said, just the, uh, the lows, counting of bars. I completely improvised that. I had no idea how that was going to sound. It just, oh, let's start playing there after eight bars, see how it sounds. And it sounded great. I have a question. Um, it's yes. a question. Homie Ricky says hello. Hey, Ricky. <laughs> Oh god, my friends are watching me. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is essentially the basics of using it. It's the most important part is learning how to count in the sections and predict what's happening. Once you get to know the music as well, you can put you like, oh, okay, this is where this fills you. Da, 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 da. And you know, start that one there and you can use that. And you can also use the effects creatively as well. Um, Kind of, especially if you're running into troubles, like, oh, this isn't going to be smooth because uh, I know this next section is going to be too heavy. Let's just do a whoosh effect and then quickly slam it over <laughs> to the other track. Yep. Yeah. Right, right. That's what it did. Question over here. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, I mean, I, you might have covered this before, but about some of the tracks not exactly beginning on the one, how do you, how are you getting yeah. around that? Or how do you feel not about that? Not using them. I have been. Uh, I've been asking. I've been asking developers from day one, uh, especially this track here. Uh, believe, unfortunately, I'll, I'll play it for you now so you understand what he's talking about. Because you know what I said about it starts on the beat and syncs for you. There are some tracks mm -hmm. that. Uh, hang on, let me turn turn down my volume a little bit here. Start this one. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately.
unfortunately, oh. it, it it's just a little bit of a, a tweak with the software at the moment. Um, hopefully, they'll fix that, especially because there is an amazing transition between these these two tracks uh, that you can do at the end of this one. If at the the final chorus of "Save Yourself," when the second drop hits, if you start playing this, the vocal from this one comes in, and it sounds like two tracks are just a single track. It's amazing. Um, so I really do hope they fix that. But yeah, that's what you yeah, can I wanna, do. Yeah, I wound up uh, I wound up trying to like play it ahead of time, like try to watch the counts uh, ahead of time and like know which tracks are gonna jump it a little bit. But then of course that takes a lot of memorization for the tracks. So it's just like listening to it over and over again just to know which ones are like off the uh, play button. It's actually only two. It's Believe. only two. Believe by Deso, and this one here. Uh, let uh, go. Double effects. Let go. Okay. Yeah, this one is actually passable. It's it's very slight. I, this is kind of my sync track. Um, no, that's not that one. There we go. The crowd. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's slightly. slight. It's slight. Slightly. But if you take out the laws of one. You can get okay. away with it. You can get away with it. That's that's the only. The, the bad one is believe. Um, gotcha. Everything else is is fine. Um, I think the other I thing I was finding with certain tracks was that like when you go to like try to sync it on the play button, it's like I'm already, I'm already counting it, and I know this begins on a one, but I'll hit the play button and the track doesn't start. Yeah, the, and then the best... does it auto sync or? It auto syncs. Um, <sighs> I'll go th I'll go through it real quick. Okay, that's what I was missing. The, yeah, the best way to do it is to count on three or four is when you hit it. Mm. I usually hit it on four. Um, Got it. It's yep. just it's 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 just like bar launch if you've ever used Ableton. Uh, um, no, I haven't used. That. <laughs> all right. Okay. It, it it it's basically like a a, a sync function. So if I one, two, three, four. There it goes. Got it. So it start okay. it if if you if you sync it in the previous bar like um, bar eight before it's about to go into the next right. section, then I'll be fine. Gotcha. So I've kind of gone through, I think pretty much everything. A lot of it is just going to be experimentation, as I say. Go through the tracks are at 128, um, count through eight and 16 bar sections, and just experiment, have fun. Remember when you're transitioning between tracks. Uh, Turn down the low of the second one, put it together, see if they sound good. Uh, if not, try another one, and you will just you'll learn different combinations. So many of these tracks go together really well. Even if you move to this one here, which is 135 instead of 128, and then what do we want to do? This one here. My play buttons are massive now. <laughs> You don't want um, to miss it. <laughs> Lavender. Yeah. Those three white squares. Ah, uh, these are visualizer. The rightmost one is your base. The middle one is your mid. The top one, or the far left one, is your treble. Which is useful. Hmm? Yeah. So, but there's no functionality, it's just... It's a visual thing, so you'll see this one vibrating a lot because it's a lot of bass. Basically, you can look over it and see if you're not used to listening, like if you don't know what bass sounds like, it's a good way to tell is there a lot of bass right now? If I turn this down, it stops jiggling so much. So, so it's a little helpful hint thing. Oop, lost my hand. My bad. Even though this one is one through five, it still sounds pretty good. And if you quickly just kind of shove it over, nice. Yeah. So definitely play around with them. It's all about experimentation. Once you know, once you get a grasp of the controls, 
um, and a grasp of counting. You're all good. So I think it's time to properly start taking any questions people have, or things they want to see, et cetera. And you, don't, don't even be worried if they think it's a silly question. There are no silly questions. So Lavender, like if you have a 128 BPM on and then you mm -hmm. put a one, 135 or something, what beat is it going to take? Like, does it? It's going to take whatever. The, it's oh, going to take right whatever there, the right. tempo slider is set to. So oh, okay. if I play, uh, let's take a really extreme example. Uh, this is a drum and bass song that's in the soundtrack. If I play this at 128, it's going to sound crazy slow. Yeah. And then you can slide it up. So the tempo is always locked to whatever you've got this here set to. Oh, okay. Uh... I got a question. Is yeah. it possible to unsync the tempo so one song goes faster than the other? No, but that is a highly requested feature. Um, so I expect we'll probably see that at some point in the future. It's something I would love to do as well. Cool. To just unsync the two so I can start playing a second track. And I have um, a comment. At a different BPM. Yeah. Uh, Yiffy says hi. I think I got that right. Yep, Yif wave. Hello. And Hello. <laughs> I told Pearl that it keeps going in and out because it just came back again. <laughs> that is so strange. <laughs> Beta software. <laughs> Still um, taking questions. Question. I got a question. Yeah. So the end of the song, is it where it goes like to nothing on the yeah, what what will happen is uh, when you get to an end of a song, it'll continue spinning, and then you'll see the display reset like that, and it'll just go back to play. That'll be when the song is completely finished. Um, but if you've got so, you know, the crossfader all the way yeah. over to the other side, even if it's still playing, it's safe to just pull off, and it'll stop by itself as well. Um. And when it's going to end, I should know this, I guess, but, like, will this white thing just go down to zero? Like, I don't know. I, I was, like, trying to do this in my cave, and I was dancing around, and the records kept ending without me realizing it was about to happen. <laughs> so, what's uh, my signal? You, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can, I, can, I, can, I can tell you. Let me, let me find one. Let me see. Let's put one over here. So, you see this part here. Where you see it yeah. going down, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you see this, this, this is going to be your, the end here. There are some tracks that have really quiet parts, so don't always count on the visual element of it being correct. Okay. Ooh, sorry, But um, in general, you will get used to um, how long a track is. Uh, one thing I didn't actually cover uh, is when you're DJing, most DJs will transition either <clears throat> during the first chorus, during the first drop, or at the breakdown after the, f the first course, the first, the first large, loud part, like the main body of the track. <clears throat> Some DJs will do it back to back, well, they'll, they'll have a, the outro of the track transitioning into the intro of the second one. That's if you want to do like a really, really, really long set. Um, but a lot of the time, you'll kind of, you'll go into, uh, let's actually, I mean, I, I love you Silverhand, but let's pick something different. There we go. So I'll leave this playing, and then I'll point out, you know, when the main body of the track is. Uh, what would be a good thing to oh, just throw into this one? So this is kind of the build-up of the track, and you'll be able to count like eight bars or sixteen bars here. And you can see it's quite loud. <laughs> you 
can hear a change is coming up now, so you know something's gonna happen. It's building up. And if you look at it, she's about to go quiet, so... Break down. Body of the track now. This is, you know, when everything is going off. Mm -hmm. And at this point, you want to be counting probably eight bars. If it's still going at that point and you don't anticipate a change, still here, count another eight bars. And then you want to be watching here to see where it's about to go quiet again. You'll see it coming up. You can lean around and have a look as well. Still going. Something rising up, so you can just a bit of a change here. Get ready. Have a look, it's about to go quiet there. One, two, three, four, one, two, hit play, four. Turn down the lows. I didn't let this one play. This one is still playing. If I switch over, yeah. this is still going, yeah. but I've not let it reach the end. I see. But I can stop that one mm -hmm. and pick a different one. That one's gonna be crazy. Let's see what happens if I do both at the same time. Three, four. And you can also just leave that one running in the background like this and decide, I want to transition later on. Just wait for this to finish this loud part. Let's see, it's about to go quiet here. One, two, oh, three, yeah. four, and... <laughs> Very nice. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you don't always have to wait until the end of the song. Um, uh -huh. And you don't have to immediately start playing where you want to transition as well. There's a lot of different things you can do. <laughs> There's a whole lot Any more other... skills to this than I realized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're a DJ, all you do is hit play. Yeah, yeah we hit play. Uh... Very, very <laughs> carefully. <laughs> <laughs> So, any other questions or anything um, I didn't explain very well that anyone wants me to go over? Or anything you're like you're, you're you're still looking at and going, I still don't know what that does. But well, that was awesome. No, no. no it's like uh, the sampler science. buttons. I think there's one. Yeah. So I think there's oh, like yeah, a clock yeah. over there. Yeah. You got any yeah. tricks for, uh, for syncing that up with the beat? Um, because I can never get it on time, like ever. I try, and I'll get it close, and I'm just like, oh, this sounds off every single time. Yeah. And then it'll clap. Un unfortunately, <laughs> it seems to be based on your ping. So locally, it'll sound in time to you, but for everyone else, it's not. Oh. Uh, um, you can sometimes get away with it if you do it basically not on the beat for you. 
the, on the off beat it. for you. Okay. Yeah, you just do it <laughs> off beat. All right. So let me let me try. A fraction of a second before. <laughs> I see. That's yeah, my that's my hard. that's my that's my best attempt at it. But the the actual the action of going through it. The key is getting... to only use the air horn. <laughs> yeah, and, and actually, the, the best yeah. the best way the best way to use the air horn is to move the effect square over here to echo. I sound cool, but do this. Whoa. Yeah, you want to. Oh, I love that what trick. Is that? Uh, because yeah. the the air horn by itself is it cuts well, pretty cool. abruptly, but if you it's put a very little bit of echo, yeah. yeah, if you put a little bit of echo on it over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if, if you're if you're if you're good like if you're good not like me, I managed to avoid getting into the noise. I think we should call that a little the bit lavender of a maneuver. <laughs> no, this, 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 this is going into the flanger and the noise at the same time. Game over. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Uh, I throw a little reverb on the air horn. I like it. I like yeah. that. I like that. Nice. Cool. Mm. Um, but yeah, you can do entire sets while completely ignoring the effect cubes, but they are useful. Right. Um, one thing to remember, actually, about the effects cubes is when you have a beat going, let go on the four. Take into consideration the lag of people around you. Don't you dare try and offer me that. <laughs> I, see, I see you. No noodling <laughs> here. This is a noodle-free zone. <laughs> Where's Shin? <laughs> he never came don't back. Don't make my mistake. Don't give a trip to the DJ. It's a bad, bad thing. Oh. Look, <laughs> like so bad when I did that to Digi. So the thing about using the effects cubes for transition effects, for you, if you let go on the beat, it's going to sound great for you. Um, but for your audience because they're going to be slightly behind what you're doing. Uh, letting go on 4, if I do this now, where this is coming, I might go on the 4, it'll sound a lot smoother. Let me do it here. So it's not, nice. it's not, cut, it's not cutting off the kick <laughs> in the next bar. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any other. <laughs> Having fun over there, are we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, are there any other things? I don't think so. I think I've covered pretty much everything. What I will do um, is if you are on. Discord, I will post a I... picture of. If you're, if you're not on the Discord, get on the the Wave VR subreddit, um, r slash the Wave VR, I think it is, um, yeah. and get on the Discord because there's fantastic discussion over there. And if you are, uh, I will post a picture, uh, which is just a set list of um, tracks that I've built that work together, that one after the other, they flow really well. So if you oh, still look nice. at this, if yeah. you still look at this big board, I'll post it on the subreddit as well. Um, if you still look at this big board and go, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. You can go through that one by one, and just queue up the tracks in the order that they are in those in the picture. Um, and uh, I'll have to memorize try, that picture try. then. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> I, I say it as a picture rather than text because what you can do is uh, on Chrome you can open up in a separate tab and uh, press oh, Control yeah. Plus mm -hmm. to make it make it big and then just look at your desktop view while you're in VR yeah. instead yeah, of text yeah. which is always going to be small. Mm -hmm. It's it's easy enough to open an image in a new tab and just keep it there to reference it while you're playing. It's a good idea. I've definitely not done that before while hosting parties in here. 
I really want to be able to stack the records and just take them off one by one. Mm. one <laughs> Some So any, any other questions? Me, me, me. If y'all yeah, go and pose pretty, I'll take a screenshot and post it. <laughs> How do you want that to happen? Okay. I don't know, y'all just pose In front pretty. of the DJ set? <laughs> like, we just stand, like, right here facing this way? I mean, yeah, no? that works. Yes. Hold on. Shorter people up here. <laughs> well, shorter people yeah, shorter people yeah, right in front. Let's get lavender in the middle. Uh -huh. I'm Sorry, sitting I'm down, like so I'll sit in the bottom. I'm like disrupting everything. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, should we all go to the front? Is that what you think? Yeah, it's because I I could barely see you, Anonymix. Well, if, you, okay. if you're talking, okay. I can't actually hear you. Ah. Yeah. Lavender, come closer. Uh, Hold on, I'm someone's oh, writing never mind. a question. That's more important. <laughs> Too quickly, so it's coming over very in filter. Filter. What? What is? I see the effects died again. Yeah. Oh, see. what is? Anybody I missed? What is oh, it damn it. Oh, I was yeah. there. I'm gonna have to check those German bass tracks later. Surprise! <laughs> Why are you oh, doing God. For, Surprise trips. For taking out the low end you... or making it sound muffled. So if I start playing this. Uh, I think oh, trips. Nice. We should rename trips as trolls. <laughs> feel like you're getting trolled when someone gives you a trip. No, <laughs> yeah, if it's a surprise trip, it's uh, called noodling. Oh yeah? Yeah, it so was, was on the like, Steam VR the basement, forum. Is, you know, I love getting I... noodled. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like you catch somebody with their hands clenched because they're using yes. something. Or... You just go, uh huh. Uh, yes, that's what you were doing to Shin last week. No, I was offering them to him. I said, hey, would you like some drugs? And then at one point, I had one held, and he goes, oh, what's that one? And he grabbed it. And then he did it like five more times. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. It was great. I did noodle someone standing real... next to Shin. I've never, like, seen anybody lose it like that inside one of those. <laughs> I know, it was beautiful. <laughs> I'm sad he didn't come back. Yeah, me too. Me too. We would have played nice. Yeah. Ish. It's <laughs> my favorite word. I can't wait for them to put some new songs in this game. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ah, uh, just start DJing through your microphone. That's the I've one thing that makes it. it really feel like a game. It's the same music over and over and over and over. Are we picturing? <laughs> All right, you guys want to do yeah. the picture thing. All okay. right, hold on. So you want me here? In the middle. Yeah, somewhere. that's good. Um, oh, you're someone. If you'll take like one step backwards. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs> one virtual step backwards. <laughs> All right, guys, get in a line. Okay, I'll, I'll stand yeah. up if I'm too short. Yep, if you're sitting, you can get in the middle. Small. Oh, wow, someone named Avatar the Last Farter just sent me a friend request. This is a great <laughs> night, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Life goals right now. What do I do with my hands? Like, Whatever you want. Get a toy. Get a, get a Let's... toy. Get a toy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try not doing any effects because it doesn't look great in screenshots unless you're a professional, uh, which I am not. So I'm gonna let those hearts do their thing. Go to unequip so we're not connected by the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, also yeah, a smart idea. Yeah, unequip the the everythings. Oh, we're still connected. The umbilical oh, columns. you guys are still connected. Oh no, it grew. Oh, dear. It's a disease. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Is it <getting> worse? <laughs> Oh, just 
There Just we go. Just random toys Order until they go away. This is like... <laughs> I think we did it. This is like... I think we did it. taking a regular photo. Like... Jesus Christ. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I thought we would be okay. <laughs> that was oh, my no. mistake. <laughs> What if we all get the same thing instead? <laughs> all the lines. What if we all get bubbles? Do yeah, we all everyone bubbles? hold bubbles. Let's get bubbles. some red glove action going on. And jazz hands. Um, I didn't say I... use the bubbles. I said load the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Is it better if I stand? Um, oh, I don't yeah, think our it looks hands okay. are red when we're all connected. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Fine. All right, That's everyone. And Smile one, Smile. two, Smile. three. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Y'all are cute. It? Yep, I took a couple of them to be sure. Y'all can leave. Oh, <laughs> Thank okay, you for bye. indulging me. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we can party. Right. Now, now it's time to dance. Woo! Woo! Let's party! <laughs> Let's play some tunes. But I hate parties. No, I'm just kidding. GGFO! You know. must be fun with them. All my cable. Are you guys? Do I do it? Do it! <laughs> Never a question. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I got noodles. I guess I can dance. Maybe. Why am I still here? I got noodles, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't I coming back? Am I stuck in here? Forever. Oh no. Forever. Oh no, I'm surrounded by a bunch of people with TVs on their heads. Oh, oh no, you're that. in dancers? That's uh, terrifying. Uh, <laughs> His helmet's gone too. Oh, the no! Ring is still there. No! <laughs> Who did this? Who, Who did this to me? <laughs> Not I can't I. see any of you. Well, that you they be in there with you, right? No, he left. I... Oh, uh -oh God. Really? Yeah, it was <laughs> biggest dickus. <laughs> and I can't even like leave. What a dick. God damn it! It must have happened to him too for him to exit out the game. Who is inside yes. it? Who is inside it? Mr. Spear? No, it yes. was. I mean, no, it was biggest dickest in Mr. Spear. Yeah, biggest dickest left because he's the biggest dickest. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. So many bad trips. <laughs> they need to update them. <laughs> and stop changing the good ones. Yeah. I, I still really love Enfalls though. You can do it all the time. Yeah, that one's good.
we just got to say thank you. I know, right? That's um, pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> jealous i should have gotten more i grabbed so many i was just like i'm not i'm not gonna be back here for a while I'll so my eyes with Nice. <laughs> and now I'm sitting here just clapping my hands like a retard. <laughs> yeah, it's cute.
so I couldn't hear you very well from back there, and I thought you said your buns keep growing, and I was like, Anonymix, you can't just say that. Buttons, right. <laughs> Hey, I'll be right back. Apparently my sound's having issues. This is like the worst performance and bugs that I've ever experienced tonight. I don't know what's yeah, going on. Right. Yeah. Maybe everyone just got confused that wasn't official. Master at work now, right? Um, I mean, I'm highly intrigued by the buttons. <laughs> Once you start to learn, you begin to understand, and you just keep watching until the magic disappears, and you realize you know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I already know learn, I know nothing. Bless you now. I know we're like a bunch of John Snows. Well, Why are we like John Snow? Because yeah, we know nothing. Because we know nothing. I thought, I thought you meant like he's like the king of the north. Like, <laughs> we're all king of the north. Well, <laughs> I mean, we could be I if mean, we really wanted to. The king to. of the north, I'm not sure. <laughs> By the way, I think Jon Snow's totally gonna get with Daenerys. Right? I mean, we've been nah, wanting that for nah, so long. Nah, yes. Yeah, no one not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna squabble the whole time. There's reasons it shouldn't happen, but every good girly romance movie starts off with a couple mm -hmm. that hates each other and fights, yeah. and then they screw. Then they develop a begrudging respect for yep. each other. <laughs> they're like, wait, you were doing that because like, you're a good is, person? That? I'm a good person no. too. We could be good people together. <laughs> 
it's not like I like you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't turn into like, what's that Japanese word? Tsundere or something? Tsundere. I oh, yeah, what's I hope that? it's not one of those situations. No, tsundere and yandere. I Martin would let that fly. Oh, no. I just want to point out, that was an example of a really botched transition there. So, <laughs> glad you were paying attention. Um, I really botched that, so I just kind of smoothed it over with transition effects and stuff, so... Did you just stick your hand yeah. over here, or, like, just to smooth it? <laughs> what, what, how did you smooth it? <laughs> just by adjusting the lows of both of them uh, to try and blend them together. You quickly twiddled some knobs. That's the way to do it. Boop. The other way is just make a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah, can we yeah, just, yeah. Can just can we stick, just make our own sound effects? Um, no, no one's stopping you. Boop. Get yourself Boop. to scream one, two, three, jump, and everything will be all right. I mean, a lot of DJs do that because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? Oh, yeah, I mean, half the reason I feel like some DJs, they'll say one, two, three, jump in the middle of things because they don't know how to transition properly. Ah! <laughs> there are a lot of, yeah, there are a lot of things that people will do to hide bad transitions, and one of them is talking. Mm. A lot of radio DJs will do that, too. They're just like, yeah, I didn't transition this smoothly, but it's my track and I need to play it in order to make money. So I need to this. stop and have a chat. <laughs> I need to explain how, like, artistically I came up with this next track and <laughs> cover for that bad transition. <laughs> there we go. That looks sick. of like where you are in the count for, for a song like if you're in if you know you're in like the breakdown at, at least this is what my uh you know what i've been doing is just like you get better practice of like oh okay i'm in this part it's like if i count it out it kind of feels like the end of the phrase yeah uh, i believe it kind of like come back into it i think you can feel it coming right i mean yeah, exactly well, especially like if you've listened to the same song so many that, times. Like listening, you'll know where yeah. it comes in. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, like, maybe even Will will have to learn how to DJ so we can keep having parties. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean,. Lavender will only do it for so long, and then she's had enough. <laughs> well, I guess that's why they started that thread of, like, who can DJ on the weekends, yeah? Yeah. Luda did not. Luda came and went today, so... But then nothing happened, right? Like, he didn't really follow up oh, on it yet? Oh, I didn't hear about it. He ages ago. That's the thing with um, Discord. Like you can't really sort by topic. You know, it's just yeah. this, so it's hard to go back and really, like. So he was talking about it like a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I wound up sending him a PM about it, but eh. 
also have limited access to this rig. So. Oh yeah. I'm at my friend's place, so I just moved out of the apartment where this is located. <laughs> Wait, what is located? Oh, uh, the VR rig. Oh. Yeah, it's my friend. <laughs> it's my friend's VR rig. Huh. Yeah. Uh huh. A little rough to, to, to try to commute, but that's all right. There you go. Yay! Very nice. That's Yay. all I think I can. That's all I think I can Woo. do today. Because thank you. Because there's a lot of counting. Very, well, and there's more. I got an early start, cool. and I could, I could, I could go for another like half an hour easily with just this. So <laughs> I should what stop while I'm ahead and late. <laughs> oh, you are. You're, it's like, it's the early morning, right? Like. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I can, I can, I can kick around for a bit. Uh, okay. But let me stop my OBS recording. This will be in my desktop for a moment. If I can find you, where are you? Where are you? There you are. <laughs> and. Oh. <laughs> I know, I've got like a wireless keyboard on the floor somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> let me just make sure that did the thing. <laughs> It's a weird feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's always weird to see characters diving into each other. Yeah. Wow, glorious 90 frames per second. Oh, I've missed you so much. It's ever so slightly below when I'm recording. It's like 60, I think. So it's just slightly noticeably not as smooth. Oh, you should so. check out my software. I don't have any kind of lag like that. I think it's more I've only got uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, yeah, know. that'll do it. Yeah. Need to up that to 16 at some point when I've got the money. <laughs> but it, it works. It records pretty smoothly. There'll be some hitching, but... Yeah. What are you going to do with so, it? Yeah. What? Hey, uh, Lavender. Hey, put it... uh, when are you guys going to update the uh, SoundCloud playlist? <laughs> Uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing, since I cannot get through to uh, my Chino, I'm going to make one myself and tell him just to take that one away. <laughs> oh, awesome. Make one also um, if you want. I mean, yeah, sure, if you want to make one, I can tell him just to ditch that one. Um, uh, like, I, I have told him multiple times, uh, but you know, it, it's not my playlist, not my SoundCloud, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll make one in... Uh... His voice disappeared. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, You're talking, we can't hear you. Um, what? yeah. We oh, there we go. It's back again. It cut out for a second. Oh, I, I said I'll, uh, I'll do the soundcloud and I'll post it in the Discord chat. Cool. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm lagging. All right. No I'm worries. Gonna... I'm gonna head off. Okay. So, yeah, so yeah, see. that that is DJing in the way. Please go try it for yourself. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> that that was lovely. great. It was cool. Yeah. Huh? I'm definitely gonna try some of that stuff. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, that was Look, awesome. Okay, can 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 I load up two tracks? Here? Can I just point out actually something off camera to be aware of? Look at the size of these play buttons, excuse me. <laughs> I know, what happens? Here, let me get a good picture of it. <laughs> Wait, that's massive. Wait, is right? it just growing? Yes. yes. It's been growing the whole time. Oh. Huh. Like, I, I, was, I was wondering, why have I got this strange bar in the center of my console now? It's because the two play buttons are overlapping. Because it's like, I think somewhere in, in the Unity code, Every time I hit it, it's going yeah, plus one to some size variable, and it's <laughs> probably... <sighs> yeah. So it's kind of... Oh my the... god, I haven't noticed. <laughs> they, they, they're, they're absolutely oh, no. massive. <laughs> I, I think so if, you, if you sat here long enough and just play pause, play pause, you could get it to dwarf the entire 
Mm -hmm. I know, because the crossfader is so small now. She can still get to it. Yeah. Oh, my. Huh. That's weird. DJing for the visually impaired. Perfect for me. <laughs> True. A play button the size of a planet. Don't feel like wearing your glasses under that VR headset. Don't worry. <laughs> Well, that's a surefire way to not miss your cue. Yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the, the hitbox is still exactly the same size as the regular oh, one. It's oh, that's awful. <laughs> Completely defeats the purpose. Mm. Uh, nice. <laughs> Whoops. All and right. we lost the visuals again, like, when we went to go take the picture. Yeah, oh, yeah. they disappeared. That's they the third time. Oh. It's really fucking glitchy tonight. <laughs> I know, I'll have to yeah, post a picture of mine from earlier because it looked really dumb. I had like 20 different was... sliders in one place. It's kind of a shame that the visuals we got stuck with is one of the non-reactive ones, so while I was doing the set, all you see is just pink. Yeah, oh, that's alright. <laughs> we couldn't help it, I... it stopped working. <laughs> I, 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 call, I call this... I call this a Porter Robinson visualizer because it looks like something from Worlds. Ah... Uh... I didn't know I see that, that reference. Now. I definitely see that. Yeah. It's kind of flicker esque huh? Did you get to Very check bright, one of his bright. world shows? Unfortunately, no. I missed the one in uh, London, and that was my only shot. I'm glad it. Aw, damn. I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> It was... Unfortunately, I, I would have needed to stay up very late and be on the ball at the minute to get the tickets. They sold out like that. It was crazy. Oh. I'd like to point out that the drug trip that Mr. Spear was caught in earlier is still going. Oh, where? What do you mean? Yeah, like that ring on the floor, that ring shows up uh, beneath the two people who are in a trip to kind of like say oh, this is their boundary. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it never ended. <laughs> That happened to me last night, actually. Mm. Oh. But the chip just kept going so and going. It just did books. not stop. It was that fucking anglerfish. <laughs> there, there are. <laughs> I, I love anglers. It's so nice. Yeah, but it didn't stop. It didn't. So, <laughs> all the so... ones to be stuck in. <laughs> I know, right? At, at, the, at the shows, the only ones I will accept are the ones with this little symbol inside of them. Uh, that oh, the elemental? Because mm -hmm. they, they don't stop the music. These yeah. ones, <laughs> they do. I don't. I don't. I don't like these ones. These ones break yeah. stuff. Also, uh, I want to know where the fidget spinner is in here because I swear Pearl was lying to me. I know. Oh, I've whoa. checked all spinner? of the crystals. I haven't checked the boulders yet. I checked a couple in the hallway, but are they, is, is there supposed to be one in the cave here? Yeah, he said yeah, it's hiding in rocks. In... Yeah, I think it might be I over there. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go have a look. Hang on. It's kind of like something I don't care about very much, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I want to care Yay, about lads. it. I care yeah, about right. it because it's a secret. Oh, we got fidget spinners now. Oh god. <laughs> Where'd he go? The fidget spinner. Well, the ass fidget he's looking. spinner. Did he find it? Or is he sparkling? Right. Like, what's all the yes. sparkles? He's sparkling. Yeah. Why? Is he, is he sparkling? I see it too. <laughs> Kira -kira. Yeah. <laughs> um. Whoa. So we all, we all followed. He's sparkling. Oh, yeah. He's sparkling. <laughs> he's oh. not sparkling anymore. Oh, that's. Oh, my God. Something is sparkling. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, I don't like yeah. all the rocks in my face. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Jesus, Would it be over here? No, those are butterflies, damn it. Not there. I'm determined I will find the secret 
fidget spinner, no matter how much I hate fidget spinners. I was telling Anonymix earlier, I really like fidget cubes, not fidget spinners. I can't even reach it down into the ground. Any luck? You might need to just re you might need to restart to get it to fix. So hope you get it fixed. I checked in the home cave. I couldn't find anything. <laughs> that sparker is definitely weird. It's collision. Ah. Oh. I didn't even realize you could go down here. It, it kind of creeps me out a little. I really thought it would be this one because it's got that little pink thing in it. <sighs> as soon as I get back up here. Well, I'm gonna head out. My earphones are killing me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll nice. upload the file and I'll send it over your way. Uh, if you'll PM me an email address. Okay, we'll do. Cool. Thanks again. This is awesome. I want to have like more parties like oh. these. Well, I'm usually yeah, the one to host them. Yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're the best at this. DJ. Oh, not the best. Well, um, no one wants to be second best. <laughs> I don't I'm mind. still waiting for that Lavender versus Digi set. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, true. People have been talking about that. I'm just make a Facebook page for it. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All right. I'm taking off. Thanks, Lavender. Oh. Yeah, see you later. Uh, much appreciated, my friend. Man. Okay, wow, I am done. I feel like my ears are slowly being sliced off of my body. Um, like I said at the beginning, I'm using the new Splatoon Hori headphones, and while they're cute, and I look hella fresh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel like my ears are gonna just be torn off at this point, like they're serrated. It's very uncomfortable and very painful. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the new subscriptions. I couldn't give a shout out earlier. I'm sorry. Um, it's the thing about being in a MMO. You can't really start shouting things in front of other people because they can hear you. But thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to hope to move the computer back into the office uh, tomorrow. And, you know, we'll get some streaming going. I have done Star to catch up on, Stick of Truth. Um, I did pre-order a game that's coming out on the 8th, and I can't remember what it's called. It's like Hellblade or something. It's like really cool. Female protagonist. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so lame. Again, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciated it. Uh, whenever 
this gets uploaded onto YouTube, I'll have it sent over via Twitter, and y'all can watch it there. Don't forget to join the Discord chat if you are able to play the way VR. Um, just go into Discord.com, I guess. Go into the search, look up the way VR. All one word. It's free to join. It's open. We're a pretty friendly community for the most part. <laughs> It's also a good place to report bugs and recommendations, feedback, and just chat. But it's also where we schedule all of our upcoming things that aren't just uh, the concerts. So to be clear, the Discord chat does include developers and DJs for the game. It includes end users like me, Lavender, Anonymix, Shin, all of us who have no say whatsoever as to what happens in the game or the concerts. But we like to host our own parties and keep the game alive. So feel free to join us there. The way VR is free on Steam. It is region locked. Get a VPN if it pisses you off that much. There's a lot of upset people about that, but they can get over it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. <laughs>